Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Madden Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got some more plays out of my Saints uh, playbook. If you guys don't know, I put out the first ebook I put out this year was out of the Saints, and it's as good today as it was the day, the day it came out. I mean, I love these plays. This one here, the one I'm going to show you today, uh, the full series I'm going to show you today, rather, but the first play I'm going to show you today is definitely one of my go tos when I need a, what, what they call drive starters, uh, which is basically a play I pull out of my, out of my hat. Uh, to basically, you know, get a big chunk of yards and get a drive going. Um, I don't know if I necessarily have the, all the components that I typically have, like, say, a mobile quarterback, but I'm going to make it work anyway. Uh, but like I said, this is all, you know, this here and part two, which I'm not sure if I'll have enough for part two, but all this stuff is in my uh, in the description below. If you want to get the full breakdown video, uh, you can get ebooks on my website, madmoneyshot.com, or uh, on my Patreon, you can get all this stuff. Um, you know, so check that check that out if you're interested in that. But other than that, uh, the first play I'm going to show you, like I said, this is one of my go-to plays, the drive unders, and it's uh, basically you see how on the left side there, you kind of got a corner strike concept. Uh, but I'm going to do something that makes that corner strike concept even more effective. Like I said, I don't have a mobile QB, um, or the, which is something that I typically would prefer. But Breeze ain't too bad. I don't think he's too slow. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick that, and then we'll go ahead and we'll pick. Uh, I, I want to pick something matching. I think this is a, t a three wide receiver set, so we're going to random nickel. Now, if you guys want to see more Saints, be sure to hit the like button, and, and I'll always uh, listen to that. So, uh, a couple ways that I like to run this. There's more. There's actually multiple ways that I like to run this. I like. Uh, I mean, you kind of got to read the defense. Like right here, I can tell this is a cover three because I got a single high safety. It's most likely a cover three, and there's one easy way to tell that. Um, you can motion this guy over, and if somebody follows, then it's then it's a man coverage cover one, which nobody did. Uh, it's most likely cover three. So I have my choice. I can keep him over there. Uh, which is, you know, if I, if I know, if I if I watch pre-play or post, I'm um, sorry, the previous play after the play, and I see a lot of cover three zones, cover three zones, cover three zones, I don't have to motion them. I know right away. So this is going to be the setup. I'm going to basically put this guy on a, uh, a fade, and I'm going to try to work that cover three hole there up the seam. But if I don't know that, and I already motioned him, then, you know, it's the same setup. I mean, I'll, but except I would want him to come inside, so I'm going to put him on a streak. Uh, but you don't technically have to. I mean, the, the uh, Sneed himself is a cover three beater because of the way if you just, you just have to throw it quicker than normal, where basically um, you throw it before he makes his break outside. But he's also going to be a cover three beater when he makes his break outside too. So that's one way I like to run it. Um, another way I like to run it is I like to motion out Kamara here and get him open to the flats a little bit quicker. This particular way, I'd probably want to run it closer to the right hash mark. But that's another good way where basically he'll just get out, uh, get out a lot quicker. And in this scenario, I would also put Thomas here on a drag, so he comes across underneath Fleener and creates a nice high-low concept. So I got a nice check down. But like I said, if I want to run that, I actually want to run it from the sideline. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. We'll move it over. You can't move the ball like 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 I did there. Uh, but you basically um, just have to pay attention to where you're on the field. If you're on the other side of the field, you would just flip it. You know, say you're on the other hash mark, you would just flip it like that. It's really simple. So we'll go ahead and we'll uh, flip it back because I just messed that up. It looks like another cover three. So I'm going to take that guess that it is a cover three, send this dude on the street. Because the way that cornerback's pinched in a little bit, um, I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to fade him like I did the my, my pre-snap read. I want to fade him into that corner. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fade. I'm just going to put him on a streak, and I might try to hit him. Now I'm going to motion this guy out. This motion can be a, a slight giveaway sometimes, but that's okay because you got other options. But uh, it must, it's a, it's sometimes a good thing because it could pull your opponent away from the center of the field if they see that motion. So here, uh, I'm not sure what that was, but I get the, uh, the high low that I want. He takes the low route, and then the deep route's open. The money route here that I'm going to be hitting the most is going to be Sneed. Um, so I probably should have put my best receiver, but it is what it is. So here, that looks like it's a man because he motioned out. I'm not sure if it's a man, but if it is a man, Fleener is definitely going to be a good look. Uh, and Sneed's going to be a good look. So I know if that's what it is, it was a single high man. I got a couple of reads. It was not a man. Not the best throw, but I safe catch it in a little bit more than I want. So you can see that was an actual cover three. Uh, this looks like another cover three. So this, like I said, a little bit of a pre-snap read going on here. This here looks like they're playing back, so I'll definitely be able to get triangle quick. And we're going to want to rack catch that and turn it up. Like I said, that's just an instant open. Moving him out that slightest bit just makes him open instantly. 
And that's why, like I said, if you do that, for one, it might change their coverage. If they're running a cover two or something like that, they might see that motion if you run that once or twice and hard flat it. Or like I said, they might try to move out and user it, uh, which is going to you know leave a lot of other things open. This looks like another man. That, that guy reacted outside. So he he's either going to drop down on triangle or uh, it's a man coverage. So we'll go ahead and we'll rock this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and we'll go back up top there for Thomas. He's right in that cover three scene. Every time I see cover three, he's there. This does not look like a cover three. This is a cover two or a cover four, so I know right away this is going to be, uh, I'm going to put Thomas in a drag. Real simple reads, cover three uh, or cover one, you know, you, you really have some really simple reads. Now, I didn't really show uh, how I like to throw Sneed open. Now, you see here, he motioned out. If you motion over and throw on the run, that gets Sneed open for some reason. It's a little bit of a motion glitch. Or not a motion glitch, I'm sorry, a, a rollout glitch by the QB. So, we're going to go ahead... Keep running this. This might be a cover four or a blitzing safety. Not really sure. But like I said, I'm going to roll out, throw on the run, and for whatever reason, that safety is typically frozen by that motion on the quarterback. So that's a little bit of a uh, of a glitch there. It looks like they're sending the exact same double safety blitz. So we'll see. Maybe I get Kamora out here, make it a little bit easier on myself. And we do. Like I said, that square route, that's in. Oh, look at that. What? Look at that. Look at that split. That was disgusting. Next play I'm going to show, this is a concept that I put out last year out of the, the Patriots playbook. I'm pretty sure this is in the Patriots playbook. At least it was last year. Um, but this is a particular play um, that is still a really good concept. It's only half of it, though. It's the Saints flood in the middle there. This play, it's, diff it's different, but I can use it similarly. Uh, and I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll pick that. Then we'll go. Uh, we'll keep going. Random nickel. This here is pretty much a cover two concept. Um, I'm still going to motion out Kamara. I still want him out there. Um, he still has an opportunity to take that play uh, up the field. Uh, really good. I got to move the ball here in a minute. Uh, but the only adjustment I really want to make. Once again, if it's cover three, Fleener is. Uh, he's going to be my. Uh, my free man where I basically do what I want with him as far as reads. I typically, in a lot of plays I design, I typically have one guy that you can do a multiple things with uh, based off of what you're seeing. And it's going to be Fleener on this play. Uh, but if it's a cover two or cover four like this looks like, I'm just going to put him into a flat. Uh, you can leave him in that check and release. It's not horrible. I like that check and release better, but it's not a guaranteed route. He might stay back and block, which sometimes you need that. So it's up to you if you want to leave him in a check and release. If somebody's sending a lot of heat, leave him in that. Uh, because you can't actually put him... Actually, you can't put him in a pass block. Sometimes you can't put the tight ends into a pass block. But this particular play, you can. So this particular play, I also have the option of putting him on a streak. Uh, that, once again, would be the cover three option. Uh, but like I said, I'm going to go ahead and move this ball to the middle. Because I'm going to utilize both sides this time. Now this play too, you can also motion hike Kimura, where basically the second he goes out, you just hit that button, and you can see how he gets a nice acceleration boost. Um, he made kind of a weird stop and turn there, but uh, you still see a good play. So, I mean this here, if this is like a mid blitz, um, you can put Fleener on this uh, on this streak too and try to work that out. Um, but he's most likely going to be better um, in this scenario. Uh, I'm pass leading this outside too, but I'm saying Kamoro. Oh man, he did again. He did it outside that in the first play. That was crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm pass leading outside when Kamoro's left open in the flats there, by the way, which I don't know if I mentioned. But uh, but like I said, Fleener most times is going to be best um, in this cover too, because what's his name there? Thomas is going to pull back coverage, uh, which is what I want. So we're going to go ahead and keep motion snapping it. And uh, here we're going to hit Fleener. You say he's just going to be covered right away. That was a man though. I probably should have held on to it. Fleener's going to be work against cover threes, cover twos in the flat. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to try to make some big plays here happen. Um, I didn't really go through my my uh, reprogressions. I'm looking for Kamora right out the gate. Because if he's not there, then I'll switch over to the two-man system with his Fleener and Thomas. And then Sneed is a really good check down. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to keep working this guy. Uh, I want to wait till he turns up field if I can get him. And no. Oh, he did catch it. Nice. That was a good throw by uh, my man. But man, uh, Breeze here. Can't even talk. All right, so let's go ahead and let's keep doing this motion hike. And we're definitely going to hit Fleener on that back shoulder throw right there, baby. Anytime I see cover three. That's what's good about some of these formations. Where just the alignment alone makes it a really problematic thing for cover three. So here we're going to get that little acceleration boost again. And he just is, you know, he's just wide open in the flats. There's nobody there covering him. Unless somebody's in a hard flat. I don't think anybody's going to be there to take away Kamora or Fleener. Uh, but Fleener obviously is a much bigger play. You can see how the linebacker just doesn't react to how far out he is. It's just He just doesn't even have time. I like how he doesn't stop 
the same way um, you sometimes see um, he gets a little acceleration boost off of that too. But you, I like how he doesn't stop like he does on the on the actual flat route. So uh, it's your choice. Yeah, in pretty much any zone coverage, Fleener is going to be the guy. Uh, but in man coverage, is Thomas and Kamora are really going to be the guys. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to motion this out. They're sending a blitz to that side. There's just nobody there. Make it for a couple guys miss. Good lord, he fumbled it. Good lord, you suck. All right, so I'm going to say that's it for part one, uh, probably because, I mean, it's only two plays that typically do three, but uh, the first play had so many different variations, and the second play um, I went over quite a bit too. So since there's so many different variations, it's it's almost like multiple plays in one. But if you guys want to see part two, make sure you hit the like button, and I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching Mad Money Shit Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below.